Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video what we have is we have the brand new One UI 4.0 Beta 3 that just landed on the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. So let's dive in and see exactly what is new and we do have a lot of new stuff. So real quick, let me go to my settings, okay? I'm gonna go all the way down, I'm gonna go to software update, I'm gonna tap on the last update and you can see we have a change log here. Now this update is gonna be almost one gigabytes. You can see the version numbers right here and here's everything that is fixed but on top of all this stuff, we have even new additions that you are absolutely gonna love. So let's dive in, we're gonna come back to this in a minute. Now the first thing I wanna show you guys is this clock widget right here now has different forms. You can customize it even further. So if you press and hold, and if you uh, go into the settings, we now have five different clock styles. You can see we have this, we have this with a little black circle around the perimeter. We have this one right here. And then we have this, a clear one. We got this and we have this, okay? So it looks like that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course I can go black or white on it and I can do the transparency as usual. So let's stick with white. Let's keep the dark mode matched. I'm gonna tap on save. So we have six new clock styles for the clock widget. Now if I press and hold this guy, and if I go to widgets, you can see that stuff right over here. Under clock, you pick it up from here and you dump it to the screen. Now let's take a look at this guy. Let's see if there's anything new with the digital clock. So I'm gonna resize it, tap on it. I'm sorry, press and hold on it. Go to the settings. And with this one, we don't have anything new, but with the analog, we do. Now one more new thing, if I go over here and if I bring up the keyboard, look at this thing over here, the smiley is animated. And look at that, that, that was sad, now it's smiling. Uh, earlier it was running, so let's try it one more time. So now we got a sm another smiley face, okay, this, this thing is alive, so look at that. So let's go back here, let's see what's going to happen this time. Okay, so if I click on it, we have these smileys right here, let's see. Something's gotta be new here, but I'm unable to click on these. All right, but anyway, so we have this thing right here that is now, look at that angry smiley, that animated, all right. The next big thing is the weather application has been revamped. It looks so much more cooler now. So let's launch that application. It's right here, I'm gonna tap on it. Brand new design, super smooth animations. Now look at this, as I move it up, the color actually changes, okay? So that is great. So as I swipe down, animations are different. It's simply smoother. If I click over here, this area seems to be the same. We do have a settings icon on the top. That's the same as before, but the app itself is brand new, looks beautiful, performs beautiful. And of course, we're also getting brand new weather widgets because of that modification to the weather application. So if I pinch the screen, uh, go to my widgets, and if I go to my weather at the bottom, Super smooth operation, look at that. We've got some beautiful new weather widgets, nice and clean. All right, so let's just pick New York City. All right, that's nice. This one is taller. Let's look at the other ones. Uh, widgets right there, boom, boom, there we go. So we got this one, okay. And then let's see what else we have. All right, so that cleared up. Now, if you press and hold on these guys, you can also go to the settings and you can modify them a little bit, okay? So let's press and hold, go to the settings. Look at that, I can do black. I can say opacity, increase, save. Now it's dark. Uh, pinch, wallpapers, let's look at the other couple. I'm sorry, uh, pinch, widgets. Let's look at the other stuff right here. All right, so we got this guy. Dump that right there. Let's go with New York City. All right, we can resize it, press and hold, settings. All right, beautiful. Nice and clean. Animations inside the application are live and they are new. Now, another great thing that we have is animations are now smoother. With the One UI beta, the phone was still choppy. Now, the phone is super smooth, buttery smooth, it's actually usable. Uh, I was having a lot of stutter with the beta one and the beta two. That's all gone, it's super smooth as you can see. No stutter. And like I said, we have much better animations. Look at this, boom. Smoother animations I mean, boom, 
Boom. All right. Let's uh, launch this. Boom. Launch this. Boom. Perfect. It's beautiful. Now, it doesn't seem like they changed too much, but the smoothness factor has been improved, so they're definitely more smoother. Let's look at the animations for the actual widget. So if I tap on this guy, all right, nice and smooth. Look at this. Opens up nice and smooth. Gets dumped down nice and smooth, all right? Could use a little bit more work. Obviously, still the beta, so we'll see what happens. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you guys is we do have some of those weird Android 12 widgets that are differently shaped than normal widgets. Now, when I pinch this and go to my widgets, you'll see uh, some of them might be sitting here. But this is happening because if you have certain Google applications, then you're also getting their material UI Android 12 widgets. So... You have the same situation with Drive, as you can see, uh, but this one over here is Google Keeps. So when I go to my widgets and you go over here, you can see that we have those newer looking widgets. Now, Samsung's own built-in widgets are not like that. They're more traditional. So if you download Google Apps, you're going to get some of these crazy designs. Now, we do have a new charging animation. So if I plug in the USB Type-C to the bottom of the phone, you are going to see we have a nice, clean charging animation. Let me show that to you one more time. As you plug it in, you get a nice and cool animation. Beautiful. Now, the funny thing is you get different kind of animations if you're using a super fast charger versus a standard charger. All my chargers here are super fast. So this is the animation. The other one has a slightly different color. And of course, like we said, a lot of bugs have been squashed. So now when I go into my Material U design, if I pinch the screen, by the way, again, very nice and smooth. I love it. So tap on wallpapers and we have our Material U design option here. We have the color palette. Now, when you click on this, it modifies the phone based on the background, extracts the colors from the back background here from the wallpaper. And then you go inside here and gives you these options based on the wallpaper. Now, previously, you were picking something and it wasn't making the modifications. Now, these things are working much better. So look, look at the color changes in the phone app, uh, in the messages. If I click on this, things change here and there. You can see that, boom, okay, different color. That is Android 12's Material U coming over here with a slightly different interface as you know, Samsung always has their own things. Now, let's go to the settings over here. Let's go back. Let's come back to this guy. So we're going to go to software update, last update. We do have bugs that have been fixed. So they fixed an error in which menus were only partially translated. So that's been fixed. The latest Google AOSP has been applied. They have changed the glow to stretch in the over scroll effect. I'm not sure what, what that is all about. Let's try it. Uh, let me see what happens if I come on up and down. This seems to be the same. It's definitely smoother. Still looks like a stretch effect. So somebody will maybe drop a comment and let me know what that means. Uh, but let's go back here. Software update, last update. Uh, we have voice command recognition in the camera has been improved. So if I go to my camera, uh, if I go into my settings, and if I go down to shooting methods, okay, you can enable the voice commands. You can see things like smile, cheese, uh, to take a photo so now it's in fact better the recognition is better so let's go out and say smile you saw that little thing over here and it took a photo so you'll see my voice is going to appear here smile took a photo now let's go back over here see what else is new oh there was a little bit lag but again this is the beta Fix an error at a restart. Fix the problem with a connection. Fix an error with Bixby. Fix the problem with the forced termination of the UI, which was happening to me. Things kept getting terminated left and right. That's not happening uh, so far in my use. And other improvements. Now, again, the biggest thing is the, the widget here. The material use working properly and really smooth operation is back. Okay, this phone was almost unusable with the beta 1 and beta 2. Now I'm loving it. Everything is nice and smooth. Now the animations don't seem to be dramatically better, but there is some improvement in there for now. Okay, let's click on this guy. All right. All right, so that's basically all there is to it with this beta. Some huge improvements. Phone is now usable. 
I would still not recommend updating it if you are somewhat interested, but if you're really interested, I would upgrade it and just play with it. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.